Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life and where the air traffic never stops. It seems like every time I turn my camera on there's an airplane. But we are close to the airport. This is one of the easiest kind of removals ever. <laughs> I don't really know that. I'm just speaking in faith, hoping. Yeah, they gotta be in the lower because they're coming in the fascia too. Yeah. Crap, I didn't even have the camera going. <laughs> Thank you. If you're gonna knock a post out and fall in the flower bed, you can at least give me a heads up. <laughs> Look at that post, it's just swinging, there's nothing on it. <laughs> he leaned on it and dove on the top of that pot there. <laughs> Man, that's the kind of stuff you gotta get on video. Missed it though. Just helping my dad out on a couple of removals he had. This is number two for the day. The first one was the uh, Pee Wee Herman's Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> Oh no, not good. Well, I spoke too soon. They're not even in the soffit. They're going into the wall. They're just using the soffit as an entrance. Coming in with somebody kind of jerry-rigged up here with some silicone or some painter's caulk actually. And then going down into the wall there's some blackboard back here behind the side and they've chewed through it made an entrance yeah they're in the wall well we're giving up for a little bit I got a little bit of work I got to go do so we're gonna come back later this evening and pull them from the inside oh what a nice shaded yard I'm back over at this little place just before sunset I so wish we could have gotten them from the outside today, but that old side and that old uh, masonite side and we would destroy it getting it off and there's not a good match available for it. So best bet is to cut a little bit of sheetrock. It's easy to fix. And um, yeah, I wish they had been in that soffit there. That would have been so much easier. Here's what their foraging territory looks like. I don't know if they do crepe myrtles much, but that's a huge crepe myrtle in bloom down there. There's a, a drain canal back here. Plenty of water for them. Beware of the dog. Almost. Let me show you what we're supposed to beware of. It's the world's oldest Boston Terrier. Poor thing. Here's the bedroom. Fixing to start cutting a wall here next to the window. See how many stud cavities I gotta go. I tell you, my worst fear on this one is stepping on that poor old thing. It's curious and it doesn't know what's going on, so it's wandering around trying to figure it out. And I'm just worried it's gonna get underfoot and I'm gonna crush it. I'm trying to get its attention with some shadows. This dog is 100% deaf, 90% blind. Man, if there was ever a dog I felt sorry for, this is it. So one of the good things about working inside doing a hive removal is you get to work in the air conditioning but there are several drawbacks one is that i'm working at night and and that poses more problems but when you're doing hive removals inside the bees come inside rather than going outside you know not all of them but a lot of them and they go towards the light so during the daytime it's not that bad because they'll go towards the window and you can either open the window or just vacuum them out of the window but at night when the sun goes down the only thing they're drawn to is whatever light source you have so you can see what I've done on this ceiling fan I've just unscrewed two of the bulbs and that simplifies things so I don't have to chase bees all over that whole fixture I can turn the fan off and just you know they'll be gathered on that one light bulb and I can vacuum them up but you know I think most beekeepers know that during the dark and during bad weather bees don't like to be messed with and we've got both right now the sun's about to set in about an hour it's it's uh it's still fully daylight but it's really overcast it's been raining this afternoon so we've got bad weather plus it's getting dark on me so 
as I cut this open, I will definitely have protection on. Because I don't feel like getting eat up again tonight. <laughs> wow. I've got my trusty razor knife about to cut some sheetrock and I start tapping for studs. <laughs> this whole thing. I don't know if you can. Let me prop this on the wall. You see how spongy that is? All the sheetrock's gone. The only thing they haven't come through yet is some old wallpaper that's under this paint. So it's funny, as many of these as I've done, I still get nervous when I cut open something like this because you never know what their reaction is going to be, especially with the weather conditions we've got right now. So I see a bee. Not a hive yet though. Yeah, something literally, you know, literally wallpaper is the only thing holding this paint up. Sheetrock is gone, so I don't know what was in here before. Let me shed some light on the subject and give you a look up in the wall. I can't, I can't see, but I'm holding my phone up in here and giving a shot so I can pull it out and take a look myself. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Poor thing can't hear me. Can't see me. If I stomp the floor. Nope. No reaction. Alright, here we go. I got all my cuts made. The bottom of the wall is wide open. I just slowly ooh. It broke loose. Slowly. Ever so slowly. As I can with one hand. Swing it out. Yeah. Wow. Sorry about the bad video, and I'm trying to look for myself and video at the same time. <laughs> okay. That's what we got. I gotta put the camera down and vac these up before they get loose in the room. I don't see the queen on the board here anywhere, so we're gonna go ahead and pick these up. So aside from getting the bees, one of my biggest goals when I'm doing a removal inside or outside for that matter is to do as little damage as possible. Uh, sometimes I'm the one to put it back, but more times than not, uh, somebody's handyman or, or the homeowner, somebody's gonna be doing it. So I do the least invasive method possible and I try to keep it clean. So, you know, this time of year they're honey loaded typically so I have to be extra careful. Room like this, just love it. That's a vinyl floor and it's not wood parquet. So anything I get on the floor cleans right up real easy. But you don't want honey running down inside the wall for somebody to have to Somebody would have to cut the sheetrock all the way to the floor to clean up your mess. Interesting fact before I run out of memory space, but there was a hive in this same place probably decades ago. There's no leftovers, but there's evidence over here that chewed the uh, drywall out down to the wallpaper, like I said before. But you can see where the combs were attached to the blackboard. We have a mess. I started to say a dilemma, but we've got it figured out. We just have a mess. We're in an upstairs bedroom. And it's raining again. I'm just finishing straining all the honey from that hive. I'm not sure what size this pot is. I don't cook so maybe somebody can tell me. It's just a big stock pot and that's how full it is. I don't see any measurements inside the pot but that's uh, everything I got out of it except for the two pints that I jarred up and gave to the guy that owned the property. Thanks for watching y'all.
the old bee getting wagging. She ain't a stopping so good. Done. Now it won't sound like I'm dragging a smart car under my truck.